Welcome back to Gadaba. This is my Helion's Intonement video. I figured this one was a good one to roll out the Tifa substitution for Aerith because that's what ended up winning the rest of the Brutal Challenges, so might as well get some practice with it. The key thing here is that Aerith gets the Limit Support Materia and then Cloud will get Limit Siphon and the Enhanced Expeditionary Metal. In that, I'm basically abandoning trying to raise the party limit level and I'm just going all in on Cloud spamming his limit. So, he's got my standard Umbral Blade set up and then I have Elemental Fire and Ice and then this also covers Thunder and he wasn't going to hit a lot of the wind related stuff anyways, so not a big deal. Healing, Revival, HP, MP, and then the standard ATB enhancing stuff to go with that. Aerith gets Revival, Limit Support, as I mentioned, Healing, Magnified, HP, MP, Fire, ATB Boost, ATB Stagger and First Strike, she gets some ATB enhancements. She gets Re-Raise, she gets Cleansing, and then Elemental mm -hmm. Lightning and Wind on Defense. I don't even remember what resistances I need elementally, but I want her to cast this, so might as well. And then Magnify Time for Yuffie, Swift Cast Healing, when she's dodging a lot, this is very useful, HP MP. Re-raise, bar Barrier Magnified, Revival, Magic Efficiency, also helpful when you're dodging and in a pickle, and then Warding, Poison, and Petrify. Her Fuma Shuriken has ATB Charge Rate up. That's the main thing you want. Um, Shuriken Mastery is nice, and then I just do Attack and Magic Boost. And then I don't believe I mentioned Aerith's setup. ATB charge rate up on Gambitian and Reprieve are my two favorite things here. And then ATB limit is from reaching weapon level 9. That means you've completed everything for Aerith. I wouldn't say that's a requirement, but it's helpful. And then Spiritual Harvest gets more MP back on Soul Drain. I'm going all in on having infinite MP and being very trigger happy with Yuffie and Aerith as far as spell casting goes. Okay, I start these with Aerith as the party leader and I try to dodge the opening stuff and then use um, ATB and Radiant Wards. And then attempt the double move with Cloud to do the ATB sharing. And then it's so easy to get ATB with Yuffie quickly uh, that I don't give her the boosting stuff, even though she uses haste, which is also vital. And this is what I would consider being fully established in a battle at the beginning. And then that Magnify Cure on Aerith is just too good. And we have a slow guy and we've got a fast guy. And generally I try to dodge the slow guy and take out the fast guy first. That's my overall blueprint. So pretty sure it's weak to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aerith's going to keep us alive. And... One of the reasons why I love this setup so much is this ability to get infinite MP on the ladies. 
and then using Limit Siphon on Cloud to constantly drain Yuffie. And then bringing out this move. Now I have infinite MP. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that thing out. Get a little fast and loose here. And then infinite MP on Yuffie to use Mana Wall, which costs like 22 MP also. And then start throwing re-raises on you. Now, this battle's pretty much in the bag, so I'm not going to spam re-raise unnecessarily. But you get free Kuragas. This one's weak to fire. Yuffie can even use Quake Gap if you want something for her to use with free MP offensively. Oh, almost got it. That move's really annoying. Let's send another Fireaga at it. If you have time, setting up Arcane Ward is also really helpful for this. And down we go. And yeah, I know I had limit. I just wanted to show the general concepts here. Round two, ding ding. ATB Ward and Radiant. At a minimum, you want ATB up. If you need to, like, cure instead of Radiant, that's fine. And then... Anything weak to Lightning. I like to go ahead and use this anyways on every battle. But I definitely like to use it when they're weak to Lightning. Don't overdo it. It's your turn. Get haste up. Seriously, man. The weakness in this setup is if you're not quite established yet, problems can happen. So. The good news is, though. When things go poorly, and you don't get set up properly, a limit siphon becomes a play because you just took a ton of damage. So, that weakness is quickly covered. The Death Wheel got staggered. Let's see, Lightning. Doppelganger. And then, the other reason why I love this setup is, I don't need MP here, but I could use Soul Drain and Purification and get all my MP back. I'm going to get 30% back though, so I'm just going to throw a quick bolt at it. And I am going to put the Arcane Ward up this time. Alright, that one just went down. I'm just going to use Yuffie's level 1 limit. Make this fast. This is the first tricky one. The 
dog's going to drive you crazy. The, uh, that little, like, scale-looking thing in the middle, not yin and yang, is going to be the one that's going to go down the easiest and fastest. So making this a two-person battle is going to make this easier. So I'm going to lock on. And just go right out of the gate swinging like this. Got it. I'm just gonna use something for ATV quickly. There we go. Alright, so Yin and Yang's in uh, casting mode, which means it's weak to physical. These are both fire weakness. If he needs one more ATB move. Let's just shooting star. Keep it simple. And now I can use mystic manipulation. Take it over. Yeah. Get Aerith ready to do this. On yin and yang. Now that we're in physical mode. And this thing is getting wrecked. And I am going to just limit siphon. So these things do something really annoying where they put like these bubbles around the map and then come back later and pick them up and it gives them stat moves. So you can steal the bubbles, but at this point I'm just going to limit it into oblivion. Dodge again, ATB and Radiant. Can you take over for me now? Show me what you can do. Come on. Circle blade, or I mean triple thrust, triple slash, whatever it is. Often to me works better as the opener when there's a lot of enemies, because you're zigzagging around. Less likely to get hit. Alright, we got a problem. Cloud's about to go down. Good old reprieve bailed me out. And I'll supplement that with a quick cast cure. Oh, and we've got somebody pressured. It's the zoo. Don't overdo it. Let's see. All right, we got wind, fire, and ice. All right, let's do fire ninjutsu on Yuffie. And that'll actually end up staggering it right there. Good lord. I'm 
start taking out the ogre. Oh, just the zoos left. Okay. Not too bad. I can't stand dealing with these guys, especially in a party. Like, Cloud one-on-one, -on -one, that works pretty well, but... <laughs> This thing's gonna drive me crazy. And this one actually warrants spending the MP and getting that up early. And getting high HP. Yeah, there we go got demolished. I'd rather be Cloud one-on-one -on -one against that wolf than in a group. It's going to use that big blast move. Oh, it's already using it. Oh, golly. Not my best outing so far against that. Like I said in the earlier round, if your setup goes poorly, the lucky byproduct is limits not going poorly. So, now I'm set up. I'm gonna go ahead and drop an arcane ward and try to get an auto up here. Alright, the White Terror is still around, so... Let's use... that. I'm a Limit Siphon UV. Do it again. Wow, White Terror's still around. Yuffie can just use regular limit. That one can end a lot of runs. We're starting to get less headcount and more substance on our enemies. And this is what is going to take us into the next round with this theme. Uh, Radiant. Oh. Hate when that happens. Oh, come on. Let's get haste up. 
Fast guy is just something else. All right. I'm getting very agitated right now. Keep it together. At this rate, Cloud's gonna have full blown limit before I can get his. Yep. <laughs> Can't even get the siphon off. <laughs> I'm getting rid of the fast one. I'm gonna immediately siphon and do that again. with these harder enemies, getting Transcendence in the mix starts to make sense. The slow one that I was going to ignore ended up getting taken out. What's your weakness? I think that's the one thing I can't cover on Aerith. Didn't have room for it. I had to pick between Isuna or Blizzard. I stand by that decision. I'm just gonna top off the health. This is a situation where I would consider doing things like this to also top off MP, like purification. Just an example of opportunities that present themselves. I didn't necessarily need MP there, but when you've got final enemy staggered, very low health, that's when you can do that. Now these sandworms drive me absolutely nuts. Can't stand them. Probably one of my least favorite enemies. It's your turn to go. My turn. Let's get haste up fast. Unbelievable. They're weak to Blizzard. Get that up. Whenever you see them go underground, you just start moving fast. And just try to do literally anything to not be affected by what they're trying to do to you. 
And then when you have openings, be aggressive. These were the easy ones. Next round, you're gonna get acquainted to the not so easy one. And by next round, I mean in the seventh seal, not this brutal challenge. are really annoying and dispel did not make the cut on my setup but using breach on that to get rid of reflect would have rocked but it's not happening so show me what you can do it's gonna be fine though can you take over Don't let me down. hang back just stick to the script here We are going to get Transcendence ready for a big finale, though. And I'm also going to Arcane War and conveniently ignore Curing Cloud. There we go. Should have done a Kiraga instead of Transcendence prep, but might like that later on. The disc organ can go down pretty quick. So let's finish this. I hate when I'm trying to take out something and I just start abruptly targeting the other one. Sorry. It uses that dispel reflection thing, and that's your opening to do all the magic stuff that you were getting messed with doing. I missed that opportunity because I was dealing with Discorgon, but honestly, Limit should just mess with it so bad that, you know. Alright, so using physical is going to bring that down. And now, top off HP first, but Transcendence 2 is going to immediately win. This is where it starts to get tricky. The Adamantoys is going to really cause issues. It's so bad that I want to do this right now and just see what happens. I just blocked it from doing all its fireballs by opening with that. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep flinging fireballs at it. I love what just happened there. Like, that could not have gone better. Um... 
when it's not pressured, it keeps like constantly doing that. Need some fire ninjutsu. Doppelganger. Okay, no longer pressure. Aerith in. More fire. What can Yuffie do? Yeah, I'm gonna throw up the wall too in case something goes south. Throwing everything I got at this thing. Ooh, this is starting to look great. Completely ignore this guy until the anime toys is down. Like, this guy's trivial compared to that Adamant toys. I'm just using something to try to get. Now, I want to just get as much MP back as I can. So, Soul Drain. And Purification 3. And now I'll finish it. This is the final battle. I think. And Yuffie is going to really shine here with that karmic cowl. What stinks about this, though, is like... Really need to get rid of the Joker. So I'm gonna prep for a wind assault with Aerith. And Yuffie. The Tonberry will tend to leave you alone if you leave it alone. Play this one a little fast and loose and not cure right now. And I'm gonna be very aggressive. being messed with right there was very unfortunate. Gotta do this. Oh, 
Joker's going down. And now I can start dealing with the Tom Berry King. And I like that infinite MP. Let's do some more of it. The Tonberry King t managed to take out Cloud in the middle of his limit break. That is excruciating. I didn't even know that was possible. The Joker's got to go. This battle is now under control. Oh, wow. I can't bring back Cloud. That's awful. I'm pretty sure Eric can't get brought back either. Oh, yeah. Alright, cool. We're good. Time to get cheap with MP. Nothing's working for me right now. Finally! Just gonna take it out. That's a win. Not the best performance there. Congratulations on being one step closer to Platinum. We are beginning to ramp up the difficult, brutal challenges, so make sure to stay tuned to Gatabud. I'll see you again soon, my friends.